In this video, we're going to focus on how we can use data structures and apply them here on our pie or donut chart. The default of data structures normally doesn't support uh, pie and donut chart. In ChartJS 3.6, which is the latest version as of now, they have created a support for it. However, the structuring is slightly different. So let's explore this. In this video, we'll cover something specific regarding the data structures. And we will just focus on how to use data structures with donut and a pie chart in ChartJS. So if you've seen my other videos about data structures, and data structures was very, is very good. However, in ChartJS uh, 3.5 at the time, they didn't support it, the pie or donut chart with data structures. And the main reason for that was they didn't have this sort of structure because it's different compared to the others. ChartJS 3.6, however, has that support now. So let's start to explore how you can do that because it's slightly different than the other options. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is to go to ChartJS3.com, getting started. Go to this link to get our default code. For some reason, I get this error here. However, on Firefox, I don't have this error. Why? I cannot explain. However, we're going to copy here all of this code here. This basically, this is the code we need. And if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video here that explains the JavaScript of that. So I'm going to paste this in here. Once I paste this in here, I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm going to cut out this title here, put it in there. That's for me, basically. You don't have to do that. Save that and then refresh. There we are. So now we have a nice bar chart. However, I don't want the bar chart. I want a pie chart or donut chart. So I'm going to convert it into a donut chart and make sure that the shape is a bit smaller so it will be all well fit. So first of all here, the width will be 400 pixels. And then in here, we're going to put the bar will be a donut chart. So if I save this now, refresh, we get now a donut chart. However, we need to remove the scales here and then we can make this a bit more narrow. So I'm going to remove the scales. Donut chart doesn't have any scale at all. And then what we're going to do here, uh, border width will be fine. And then we can say here, cut off. And here we can say a 90%. So this has a 90% cut off. Let's put a comma here, save this, refresh. Oh, let's see what's going on. Did I save this correctly? Cut off, all right, cut off percentage should be here. Uh, let's see. So, all right, so I just quickly check what am I missing? It was not cut off, sorry, it's cut out. Makes sense, of course, because it's cut out percentage. So if I save this now, there we are. So we have a nice narrow pie chart or donut chart here. So what we're going to do now is basically in here, we're going to put in just a new data set structure in here. The data set structure here works slightly different than what you might uh, expect. And the main reason is it is not fully uh working so we still need these labels here however in here in the data structure what we're going to do is the following we're going to say your data then in here we have of course our array and then within here we have the curly braces or uh yeah curly braces and then what we want to do here let's say here we have the day the day here is basically the same here as above for some reason it just doesn't support this yet so I'm going to show you later on why or how. So next, what let's say we have here sales. And these sales will be divided into two sections. We have the drinks. So we're putting here drink sales. Let's say this would be, uh, we can do this $18. And then we have also food. And food relates to $12, something like that. It doesn't matter. I'm just making up stuff here. So I'm going to duplicate this. Make sure you have a comma here. Let's copy this, duplicate that. Uh, that's two. We have to have in total of seven items. All right. So we have this here. You put it on Tuesday, although this doesn't matter because it, this will not be uh, recognized at all. Because the uh, pie chart here basically is, in reality, what the pie chart is, is just basically a uh, uh, like a bar. It's a long bar, but then it's being shaped into an arc. As you can see here, basically this all together could be one long bar here, but now they change it into an arc. So they have the shape that's more rounded. That's in essence what it really is. So we have Saturday and Sunday. So meaning by that is that 
the value here is just only 12. So there's no x and y because there's only one single value you being recognized here. So let's put in here some uh, uh, dummy code or default code 9, 3, and well, we can do here 12, and this one will be 15, 18, 15, 12, 6, 9, and 3. All right, so we have this here, save that, refresh. So now, of course, what happens, it doesn't recognize anything. Let's remove this, refresh. Here, it still doesn't recognize. And probably we need to make sure we have a comma here. Let's do it again. All right, it just noticed something, but it doesn't show any data here. So why it's not working? Because we need to put in now, or we need to specify what is the value we want to extract here. So what we're going to do here is the following. I'm going to say a parsing, and parsing, or basically parse, would may mean make something readable for. So in, in our case, we want to parse JavaScript or the the objects here of this data structure. And instead of the default way of the data, it now needs to recognize which one we want. We want to parse or make, the, let's say, the drinks readable or specifically the food. So let's say here we want to grab the drinks. So in this case, we say you're parsing. We're going to get the key value. What's the key value? In this case, if we want to get the drinks, all we need to do here is we have to go into the data and then we have the sales and then drinks. So that's basically what we're doing here. In the sales dot drinks. So once we have this here, we can save this, refresh, and now we get here the values of it. Beautiful. So what we could do as well, let's double check if this is really correct. 12 and 3 is the ending value here. This is 12, this should be 3. All right, that works. So what if we want to have the food only? So we're going to grab the food here and just change it to food. Save that, refresh, and there we are. So now you can see here, this is 15 and 18. All right, let's confirm that. And this one is 15 on Sunday and then 18 on Saturday. And there you are. So with this, you create now your pie chart or donut chart because they are basically the same structure. Save the refresh. You can see exactly the same oh, pie, but of course, no cutout percentage. Refresh, there you are. So now our pie chart as well has the same structure with the donut chart. This is basically how you can use data structures for a pie or donut chart. If you want to learn, for example, maybe you say like, this is all interesting, but how do I make these kind of structures? Now I have one video right now that covers it and I will make another one very soon. It goes more deeper in how to build one. But this here basically will explain how to create a data structure or another word for that is basically a multi-dimensional array. So you have a structure like this, if you would have these kind of arrays independently to convert them into this here. So I would highly recommend to watch this video as well to learn and understand this better.